Hi guys, how are we all doing today? If you're new here, my name is Rodian and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be finding out how strong a brick arch is. Specifically, this OG arch that's behind me. If you haven't checked out the last video I put up where I build this and show you exactly what goes into building this, then I'll leave a card up here and also a link down in the description to it. Now the reason why I've decided to make this video is because in that last video I had a comment asking about the, I'd say the structural integrity of this particular arch. Now these arches I have always thought don't seem, that they look like they shouldn't be able to stand up but according to physics they are able to stand up. So before we go into this video, it's only going to be a quick little video, before we go into it I'm just going to explain for those of you who are interested about I guess weight distribution when it comes to brickwork. So if you're looking at this arch dead on, as dead on as we can be without my shadow getting in the way, then the, the, main, the main thing you need to remember is that compressive loads distribute their weight in triangles. So let's take this brick here for example. Now when this brick has weight above it, or as it is right now, the weight is distributed out in like a cone shape, so it comes out like so, and that is how the, the weight is distributed. When it comes to arches, it's all again about compressive loads. So compressive load is when the weight is on the top driving directly down, lateral load is when it's going side to side. Like for example this wall now on the top, if I stood on the top of that, that's a compressive load and it won't go anywhere. Whereas if I pushed it over, it will push over very easily and that's a lateral load because it's compressively strength strong, not laterally strong. Okay, so onto arches. This particular arch, if you put all your weight here, then the physics dictate that the, the energy and the weight will travel, ideally it wants to go that way, out here, but because this arch goes sort of out this way and then around and back down again, the pressure is pushing on these bricks here and then it, again it is pushing down. So the whole thing essentially is pushing down. The only, um, the only weight that is going laterally is from these few bricks here that are pushing against here, but because most of the energy is being pushed out here, that counteracts the weight of this. Now if there are any structural engineers out there, please do let me know down in the comments if I'm right or wrong, because this is the way that I have been taught uh, back in college, and this is my understanding of how this particular arch works. So there we go, that is how it works. Yeah, essentially, imagine all force pushes down, so if you're pushing force here, it's going to be pushing out, but because it can't go anywhere out, the bricks are connected here, it's going to go straight down. So the weight you put on here directly comes back to down here, and the only weight pushing out sideways are these few bricks here that are pushing over here. Now that, in my opinion, is the weak point here and here but i have seen these in so many so many houses so many places in england there's a there's quite a lot of these on on old on old castles and then in where i live in surrey there are a few around my uh, my neighborhood so these in my opinion are the weak point now how do we find this out so what we're going to do is i've got a couple of little tests that i'm going to do now in my experience of doing these they sh it should hold up but I'm, I'm all for finding out things that are wrong because as you notice here, and I dictated in the video, if you focus, that these bricks here are not right. They should be one full brick here and one full brick here rather than four headers. And also I put a couple of cuts in here. So that might impede how the structural integrity of this arch holds up. But there's only one way to find out, so let's run a few tests. Right, so the first test I'm gonna do is the good old college classic, or as I like to call it, the college classic. Every time I built an arch in college, first thing I'd do is I'd stand on top of it, even when the muck was wet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get up there and stand on top of it. If I feel like that's good, then I'll give it a little jump. I'll jump on top of it. And then I've got two more little tests that I'd like to try. So if it's still standing after that, then we'll try these two. They're a little bit more specific and one of them is, well, pretty much just goddamn brute force. So let's, let's see what happens. Now I've gotta be careful because this is only single skin. So it's not very strong. Well, that way, down, hopefully it is, as I was saying. So I'll slowly work my way in. If I stack it, then, well, I can't really jump up and down on it because, well, I feel like it's gonna break. So I'll just give it a little 
bounce. Now that feels, I'll tell you what, if I stand like that, I'll jump on it. I'm not gonna jump too high, because like I said, I'm gonna, whoa. I don't know if you can see that wobbling, but it's wobbling. Right, so another little test that I thought up is getting a piece of 4x2, and I'm just gonna put it over the very top of that arch. I don't know if you can see it, if I'm pointing in the right place, the very top here, and I'm just gonna hang off it and try and pull down, because jumping on there, I don't know if you can see it, but it didn't half wobble, so I'm gonna try and pull down with all my weight. I'm about 77 kilos, that's uh, give or take about 12 stones, so I'm gonna pull down. Obviously, that's not as, as much as a wall, Obviously that's going to be a lot more weight, but I'm going to do it in a specific place, not the whole triangle idea. So I'm going to pull my weight on this through that and see what happens. So yeah, let's go. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have this bit of wood here and I'm going to grab on either side and I'm going to try and pull all my weight down. I'm going to be sort of through here. So I'm going to try and pull it down from this point here and just see, see what happens. So far, I can't see any cracks or anything on here, but we'll just see what happens. There's a chance this could fall on me, so, well, let's just hope it doesn't. <clears throat> now, how am I going to do this? I guess, whoa, fuck me. I'll tell you, maybe this isn't a good idea. Oh. Again, it's wobbling, but it's not cracking or anything down. That was my full weight on there. Nothing's happened to it. So let's try another one. Let's try what I was saying, brute strength. Let's just, yeah, let's have a little look at the next test. <coughs> Want to get out my little rabbit hole. Right, here we go, the last test. I'm gonna hyper focus some very sudden impact down straight through this uh, bit of timber into the top of the arch and hopefully down. I reckon if there is any damage to be had, it will be in the top four, you might see a few cracks, but it's very, very unlikely you're gonna get such an impact on an arch like this unless you're knocking it down because I'm gonna be hitting it with a sledgehammer. So I'm gonna wallop it there as hard as I can, once or twice, have a quick look and see from there. If it just straight up falls over, then it falls over. But give it a couple of good whacks and see how it goes. Well, there you go. It just took one a wallop. I'll tell you what, I should have done that in slow motion, really. Well, there it goes. I think that's a very scientific, scientific definitive answer. It ain't as strong as I thought it was. <laughs> but what chances are you gonna be hitting the top of it with a sledgehammer unless you're knocking it down? Compressively, over time, weight, it might do it, I'm not so sure. But to me, I think that arch would stand the test of time. Again, because it won't be on a solid, uh, a single skin wall. If you had it on a nine inch wall, it'd be more strong. And again, if you had it on a cavity wall, it'd be holding onto the other side and it would be a lot stronger as well. Anyway, well, there we go. That's one way we started taking down my arch. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Please do leave a like down below if you have. Subscribe if you're on already. And I will see you guys in the next one. That was the easy way of taking that down, wasn't it?